Uh, right, so what do we do now then if we have two lots of X's? Well, actually I do have two lots of X's. Here is one pouch filled with coins, and here is another pouch filled with coins, and they both have the same amount of coins in them. So I now do have two lots of X's. And I have three coins besides that. So in this side of my scale, I have two X plus three. And I've counted all the ones in the left-hand side of my scale when it's balanced now in the middle, and I have 50. So if we're to look at this as an equation, we'd be able to say that our 2x plus 3 balances the equal sign 15. Well, just like we did last time, I've got three coins over here, too many. So let's take them out. If I take away three coins from this side of my scale, in order for my scale still to be balanced, because I'm allowed to do whatever I want as long as I do the same thing to both sides. I can see that my scale is still balanced now in the middle and I've taken away three from here and I've taken away three from here. So in maths terms, we'd say that I've now got 2x equals 15, take away three, so the plus three that was here has moved over the other side and I've taken three away. So I now know that 2x must equal 12. Because the 2x that's left here must equal the 15 minus the 3 that I took away from there. Okay, so now if 2 lots of x equals 12, what would 1 lot of x is? Well, let's have a look. Here's 1 lot of x and here's another lot of x. And let's just split these coins up into two piles. One for you, one for you, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So if two lots of x equals 12, then one lot of x, one little bag of x, must, must equal 6. So if I divide, so it has dividing both sides of the equal sign by 2, I would get that two bags of coins had 6 coins in each, would be 12 in total. So one bag of coin would actually have 6 coins in. x equals 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So if we've done this right, our bag should balance with six coins, which of course it does. So inside our bag, we shouldn't be surprised at all to find out that we have six coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have six coins balancing with six coins. So it's just a different way of representing algebra. If you start to think of algebra as being a scale and you're allowed to do whatever you want to, but if you take something out of this side of the scale, it will be unbalanced. So you can't take out three things, three coins from this side without taking out three coins from this side as well. Whatever you do, you must do to both sides. If I decided here I have three coins now and I have three here, if I decided to double this number of coins, and turn it into six coins, I must double the other side as well. So whatever you do to the equal sign is fine as long as you do the same thing to both. Double one side, double the other. Everything in the other. Half one side, half the other. Subtract two from one side, subtract two from the other. Then you can start to really use and practice your algebra skills in this way. So practice at home, get the scales out, have fun, enjoy. Maths is cool.